In this video, I'm going to share five ways to save money that will make your wallet smile. So the first tip that I have for you is to consider filling up your gas tank at the beginning of the week. According to Gas Buddy's lead petroleum analyst, Patrick Dehan, gas prices tend to be a lot cheaper earlier in the week, specifically on Monday through Wednesday. Timing is key when it comes to saving money at the pump. As the week goes on, prices tend to increase until it reaches their most expensive point on the weekend, especially on Friday and Saturday. On the weekend, prices often spike in part because some stations are looking to make more money ahead of weekend trips. So if you can fill up your tank on your way to work on Monday, it could really help you spend a lot less money. Now let's dive into the second tip. This one is a game changer, especially if you love to visit the museum or the zoo. So admissions for these places can easily cost more than 20 bucks per visit. But did you know that a lot of them offer a free or reduced day? So keep an eye out on the museum websites for a calendar of events. Some of them offer a free day each month and others offer a monthly event. So in my city, we also get free entrance to the art museum every first Saturday of the month. I've also gone to the zoo and the Museum of Nature and Science without spending a dime. So just remember to check your schedules and plan your visit accordingly. The next tip I have for you is to treat your credit card like a debit card. While I do agree that credit cards are great for building your credit scores and earning rewards, if you find yourself spending more than what you earn, then you can be in deep trouble pretty quickly. Here's an easy rule of thumb. If you can't afford something right now, resist the temptation to purchase it. The average credit card APR for 2023 was 22.7%. That's $227 annually on a $1,000 balance. If you don't pay off your credit card in full each month, it can get pretty expensive. An easy way is to set up auto payment and forget about it so that your balance don't continue to grow and snowball into a huge amount. The next tip I have is to skip the extended warranty. If you have plans to purchase a new TV or cell phone, these retailers may ask you to purchase additional warranty. While additional warranty may give you a peace of mind, you may not actually need one if you're making a purchase with a credit card. Oftentimes, credit card offers hidden perks like extended warranties on purchases. I have the Venture X credit card with Capital One, and it offers an additional year of warranty on purchases so here's the trick. Charge the item to the card that offers the coverage, save the receipt, and also hold on to the product's warranty document. The next time your TV breaks after the original warranty expires, all you have to do is file a claim with your credit card company and you get your money back. The final tip that I have is a great way to save money and that is to share your subscription services with your loved ones. In recent years, streaming services have become incredibly popular with 78% of U.S. households having at least a Netflix, Amazon Prime, or Hulu subscription. Many of these services offer a family or a friend plan that allows multiple users access to a single account at a discounted price. These plans are an excellent way to save money while enjoying your favorite entertainment. For example, a Spotify family plan costs $16 a month. If you take advantage of all six accounts, that's less than $3 per user, which is way more cost effective than purchasing an individual account, which comes at a price tag of $10 a month. In total, that's a three time savings, which is incredible. So that's all I have for you today. If you found these money saving tips to be helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, bye guys.